Joining me here before kickoff to another highly anticipated NFL season is a man entering season nine in the NFL and the current all yards leader for anybody active in the NFL is Derek Henry of the Baltimore Ravens. How you doing, Derek? Good to see you. Doing good. How you doing, Rich? Good to see you uh, as well. Right back at you. All right. So what's going through your mind having a, a, an NFL season for the first time with somebody other than the Titans in your career right now, Derek? <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. Um, uh, week one is here. Um, you know, but we've all been anticipating, so I'm excited and um, you know, excited to get out there today and you know, put everything together so we'll be ready for Thursday. And so, um, last time you and I spoke, it was in early April, and you were still, you know, um, getting ready to join the Ravens in person and physically. Hadn't really seen Lamar Jackson yet up close as you have now. What's your impression of your new quarterback, Derek? Yeah, I mean, he's a leader. Um, you know, uh, just good to see the way he works throughout the week. Um, you know, his preparation. Um, you see why he's uh, a top player and a consistent player and MVP type player in his in his league. You know, you know, it's been fun getting to know him, um, fun working with him, and um, see how he approaches his work every day. What have you learned about him that you didn't already know? Um, well, I mean, just getting to know him as a person. Um, you know, uh, and then, you know, seeing this, seeing the way he works, the way he leads, um, he's a, a, a leader of this team. He goes out and leads every day. And um, just seeing his his talent all around, you know, not just and when I'm uh, going up against him, you know, uh, in those previous years, but, you know, seeing it every single day, he goes out to practice. And uh, you got an example of that where you where you saw that and you're like, okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. Or, okay, we... um, yeah, his, I feel like his, his throw, the way he, his accuracy, the ball placement, I think is up there with the best of him. And um, he just dynamic with his arm as, as he is with his legs. Derrick Henry here shortly before kickoff uh, of the NFL season, Ravens at Chiefs. So uh, you're 490 some odd yards shy of a 10,000 mark in your career. What would that milestone mean to you, Derek? Yeah, um, yeah that'd be you know, very cool. Um, a uh, surreal moment for me, um, knowing that all the backs I've watched, the the great ones, um, the ones who were elite when they played, and um, you know the ones I I looked up to and admired, you know, throughout the years of playing, you know, to accomplish something that you know guys I grew up uh, accomplish that that accomplished that would be so cool. Um, I'm not trying to put too much emphasis on the focus on just trying to take week by week, but um. That def that definitely be an incredible milestone for sure. Yeah, I mean, ten thousand yards is uh, only been reached by thirty one other human beings in the history of the NFL, and so that would clearly mean something uh, in terms of your your production and everything that's gone on right now. Do you feel that you are? Because I certainly do. That you are, you know, thirty years old. That is the the number that everybody ascribes to a running back to start showing diminishing returns. Do you feel that you are maybe, um, you know, an avatar for people who think running backs can actually go past age 30 at a very significant level and that you are going to be going into the season with that sort of chip on your shoulder, Derek? Um, I wouldn't say uh, avatar. No, I'm still... I'm still a human. Um, I think you are only as old as you feel, and I still feel great. And um, you know, I still want to play the game at a uh, at a high level, and um, feel like I, I still can. And um, you know, can't wait to show that once the season um, gets underway. But yeah, just been blessed to be able to play this game this long, and at the age of thirty, still feel feel feeling good, body feeling good, still feel like I can play at a high level. But I ain't an avatar. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, uh, you you you're so you stand for something. I guess that's the way I was kind of using that word you know no, not that you're not you're, real you, you, you know you, you always got the good comparisons i appreciate that for sure i appreciate it because again uh that's what i'm saying that that you can bust up some serious norms here and you can show on behalf of a a, a group of men in this league who are always counted on always counted on the fourth quarter right that yeah. that you can show 30 is just a number and heck with that and maybe lead by that example is kind of what I mean. Yeah, you know? definitely. I mean, that's something, you know, that's the goal and that's something that, you know, I definitely, um, you know, want to, you know, take the stigma off of, you know, 
Asian running backs, guys who can still play at a high level, you know, they you know, they play at a high level no matter what age they are. And I, you know, I, I appreciate it, Rich. Yeah, it's my <laughs> – I only mean what I say whenever, you know, I, I certainly talk to you. A couple minutes left with Derrick Henry. You're going into um, arguably one of the loudest stadiums in the National Football League. So I ask you this question. In your career, which would you prefer more, lighting up a stadium with your own fans and making it as loud as possible or quieting a crowd like Arrowhead? What gives you more motivation and pleasure in your career? It really doesn't matter whether it's home or away. You still got to go suit up and play. But, um, you know, there's no you know better place to go play, especially, you know, playing the Super Bowl champs, um, going back to back. Uh, you know, Arrowhead is always loud and, you know, they, they always pack the stadium out. So it's going to be a hostile environment. So um, no better way to kick off the season, the first game of the season um, in Arrowhead night game. It's going it's to be a lot of fun. Can't wait for sure. And um, what are your goals? Do you still write them down before season at all, Derek? No, not not anymore. The goal is to win the Super Bowl. So that's that's the goal I'm, I'm trying to reach. And, uh, you know, trying to work trying to work through this week to get ready for Thursday and, uh, you know, continue on that quest as the season goes on. When did you stop writing it down? When did that happen? I mean, because, I, I, mean, I mean, like, if, you know, you put everything else, you know, in front of, you know, individual goals and the things you want to happen will will happen naturally rather than you just constantly worry about them or, or, or tracking them. You know, I just try to focus on, you know, what we're doing, doing as a team and then put the team first and individual things that fall in place. What's going to happen? I'll ask you the question I asked Travis Kelsey in advance of, of the uh, this game as well. You're in the tunnel, Arrowhead. You hear the fans going nuts. You're about to run out with a, a new team for the first time since you were at Alabama. What's gonna mm -hmm. go through your mind for that night, Thursday night? I mean, I mean that, that's that probably be out the window. I've been been here for a while and got got used to that. It's time to go play. I'm I'm focused on doing my job at the best best possible way that that I can to help us win. All of that other stuff that's that's done it over. It's time to go play. So I'll be focused. Thanks for the time, Derek Henry. Always a pleasure to catch up with you. Run like the wind. Enjoy your time Thursday night, and we'll catch up down the road. Thanks for the time. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.